You can now pass a widget, or more specifically, a component as a parameter to a component. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to do this and talk about when you would want to do this. We all know components are reusable bits of UI, and everywhere where you use that component, there will be something that changes, like some text or colors. But until recently, you could only change the properties of widgets, not the widgets themselves. You see, before, the widget tree inside a component was static, but not anymore. Now that can change by passing a component as a parameter. I'm gonna show you two demos, two applications of when you would want to use this. Now, before we set this up, I wanna show you what problem this is designed to solve. So I have four components right here, and each of these components have a similar style. So we've got this border, some drop shadow, some border radius, and they also have titles and descriptions in all of them. Now, let's say I wanted to change something about this type, maybe the spacing or the style of this border, or add an additional icon in. I would have to go to each one of these components and change them. But now with widget builders, we can have one base component and then pass just these widget trees down here as parameters. Okay, so let's go set this up. All right, so I'm in my base component right here, and we've got our title and description, and those are tied to our component parameters. The only thing we have left to do is to actually add our widget builder where we'll pass those components when we use this. And you set this up just like any normal parameters. So I'm on my root widget right here. We go up to our component parameters and add another parameter. This will be the card contents and it will be of type widget builder. Now we don't need any parameters now. We'll look at what these are and when to use them at the end of the video. Okay, so let's confirm it. And our first step is done, defining the parameter. Now we need to add that into our card because when we pass a component in here, it needs a place to go. So we're gonna come into this column right here and over to the second section. And you can see we've got this widget builders section and that card contents parameter that we just defined. Okay, so second step done, but it would be nice to get a visual of what this is actually gonna look like. So when you have it selected here, you can scroll down to the bottom and we've got this widget builder UI properties. And this allows you to select a component. And so I've got this card contents share options right here. That's one of the ones I'm gonna pass in. And you can get a visualization to check if the UI is gonna look like how you're expecting it. Now, keep in mind that you're not actually passing this component in here. We're just using it as a visualization of what it will look like when you actually pass it in. That is when you use this whole component in a design. So this is looking good to me. So let's move to our third step of when we actually use this component, passing a component to our widget builder. All right, so here is where I wanna put it. And this is called a card base right there. And we add it in. And when you scroll down here, you can see that card contents. That's our widget builder. And when you select this, you'll see all the components from your project and add whichever one you want in. So I want this share one. Okay, so now let's use this again. So I'm just gonna take this and duplicate it. Now for the second one, let's use a different component and this is going to be card contents and account. Now you'll notice something different when I added in this one and that is that you've got this pass button and Flutterflow automatically recognizes if a component has any parameters and if it does, it will add them here. So for here, this has one parameter called logged in. Over here, when I added this card contents share, there wasn't any parameters on that component, so we don't see any here. So now we're using the same base component. So if we wanna come in here and make a design change, like maybe we wanna change this border color down here, we can go through here and just change that right there. And when we go back, we can see that it's propagated to both components without having to go to each component. All right, let me show you another example. In the second example, I've got two drop downs that look like this. So let's build that out. So I've got my base component right here and underneath here is where I want the component to be passed. So let's do it just like before. We've got our component parameters because I've selected my root widget here. Let's come in here, let's add another parameter. These will be the drop down contents and it should be a widget builder. Great, and let's confirm that. First step done, next let's add it to the widget tree. So let's come in here, over here, we've got our drop down contents, that looks great. Now let's visualize this, let's come in here and I know I've got a drop down 
country for one and yeah that looks great okay second step done now let's pass this so here let's come over to this button right here and down I'm passing this click action in here so that's where we're going to define it let's add an action we want a custom dialogue here we want our drop down component let's just make this transparent right here and I know I want it a line and we need to pass our parameters so the first one is a title and this will be the country drop down and the second one will be the actual drop down contents and we have a drop down country widget builder okay that's done for this alert dialog then we can just do the same thing right over here same logic we want a custom alert dialog we want that same base component remember because we were passing the widgets we want in there through a widget builder so let's pass those this will be our count details and then now for the drop down contents this will be different but this will be our account data okay great all right so we've got our country down here that looks good and our count details beautiful now the last thing to talk about are widget builder parameters those are these ones right here and there's a gotcha here so keep this in mind these widget builder parameters are parameters passed to each one of the widgets that you will pass in here. And these are separate from the parameters of the components themselves. These are parameters of the widget builder. You can think of the widget builder as a component that wraps these components that has its own parameters. So we've got this drop down component right here. And right here we have two instances of this drop down component. Now you can see that Flutterflow has recognized that there are some parameters here. These aren't the widget builder parameters. These are parameters from this component I've passed. Okay, so where are the widget builder parameters and when would you want to use them? All right, let me show you. So I've got these two instances of a drop down component in here. And in here, we've got our search up top here and then our widget builder down here. Now, let's say inside this component, I want to have some initial selection. So when the user opens up this drop down, one of the items will be initially selected. And I want to handle that logic inside this component right here. So we'll store the initial selection ID inside this component variable, initial selection ID. Then we'll pass that to our widget builder. We'll want to pass that into our our components that we pass in here. So in our example here, we'll be passing that to this country selection and this account details selection right here. Okay, so let's define that widget builder parameter right here and we'll call it initial selection ID. This will be a string. Okay, great. So I've defined this parameter, but now I need to pass it something. And what am I going to pass it here? Well, I'm going to handle the logic in here and then write that ID to that component variable. So we'll bind it to that component state variable we set up. Now, of course, every component that we're going to pass in here needs to be able to accept initial selection ID. So in my drop downs, I have a parameter of the initial selection ID. OK, so we set up these relationships, but we haven't actually connected our widget builder parameter to this initial selection ID. OK, so we're in this page and let's select our drop down right here and pass some parameters. We're not going to go for the width right now. We just want that initial selected ID. And remember, this is the parameter from the component. And what we want to pass in is our widget builder parameters initial selected ID right there. And if you remember, that's the component state variable that we bound to that widget builder parameter. And once again, why are we doing it like this? Well, because in this example, we're handling that selection logic in here. So we have this initial selection ID here and we need to be able to pass it in to each one of these drop down contents that we have. So one for this one and one for this one. Now, keep in mind that you only need widget builder parameters when you execute some logic inside the component with the widget builder. If you're not doing anything with those values, you probably don't need to use them. So that's how and when to use widget builders so that you can pass components to components as parameters. Let us know if you have any questions. We'll see you in the next video.